Hi, thanks for watching. Uh, one of the most nerve-wracking things for a beginning violinist is to tune the violin. It needs a certain amount of uh, skill to do this, so I'm going to take it right from the very beginning uh, and show you how to get your violin in tune. It'll need tuning pretty much every time you take it out of the box. The strings are very sensitive to temperature and humidity so small changes affect the tuning. Uh, but I'm aware that um, one of the main worries is actually breaking a string. Now just before we start, just to reassure you that every single violinist, no matter how great their skill, breaks strings every now and again. It's not a big deal. So at some point you will break a string. Uh, it's a, a inconvenient, but it's no more of a problem than that. Uh, but of course you want to avoid doing that, so if you follow an appropriate method, uh, then that will uh, help you to avoid doing it. Okay, so uh, there are two things that I need to go through first of all. Uh, one is to do with the way that the violin is set up, uh, and the second thing is to know how to um, actually get it in tune. Uh, for uh, a, an experienced violinist, uh, once one of the strings is set up, uh, then the rest of them can be tuned by ear. Uh, but without uh, knowing how to do that, uh, it's really necessary to have something that will help you uh, to know what uh, the tuning is for the strings. But we'll do that in a moment. But there's a couple of things that I want to say about the violin, first of all. Um, first of all, uh, what you will use for tuning are the pegs at the top here or uh, if your violin is fitted with them uh, the fine tuners down here which actually make it a lot easier to tune. All violins have one fine tuner. Um, some of them like mine um, have one on each string. Okay so first of all make sure you know what the names of the strings are. They're very important to do that. So the lowest string, lowest notes, lowest string is the G string. Next one up is the D string. Next one up is the A string. And the top string, the very thin one, is the E string. Now the first thing to do is to follow them up to the pegs and see which peg controls which string. And if you have the violin facing you, the bottom one on the right hand side is the E string, the one above that on the right hand side is the A string, and then over on the other side, the left hand side, the bottom one is the G string, the lowest string, and the one above that is the D string. And if you look carefully at the way that the strings have been wound onto the pegs, you'll see that um, they've been wound in such a way that if you turn the peg towards you, it will lower the pitch. And if you turn the peg away from you, it will raise the pitch. Okay, now the next thing to notice is that the pegs themselves um, are a cone shape so that on this side where the peg goes into the violin they're actually fatter uh, than where they come out uh, on the other side and this means that a very close tight fit can be made so that when the strings are under tension uh, the pegs won't slip so you should be able to tighten them up and the peg should stay in place so that it doesn't slip back down again but I'll talk a little bit more about that um, later now, the, the fine tuners at the bottom, uh, if you turn them anti-clockwise, the pitch is lowered. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, 
because it's just a very, very fine tune. Now I'm tightening it up, going clockwise to, whoops, wrong one, clockwise to tighten it up. So anti-clockwise to loosen the string and clockwise to tighten the string. Okay, now we'll use those in, uh, in a couple of minutes time. So normally when you pick the violin up, uh, if it's been in tune the time before, it will be roughly in tune and all you will need to do is use the fine tuners. But if you find that a string has slipped or you have the scenario where a nice new violin has turned up on your doorstep, uh, you've never touched the violin before, you take it out of the box and you find that the strings are all out of tune. Uh, then that's the scenario that I'm going to assume for the moment. So you've got a brand new violin, the strings aren't in tune, they're right out of tune, and we've got to tune them. Okay, so one more thing about the violin uh, before we move on, is that the bridge is not glued to the violin. It's held in place by the tension of the strings, so that if all the strings became loose, the bridge would fall over. So you do need a certain amount of tension here just to hold the bridge in place on the violin. So for example, if you decided to take, for some peculiar reason, take all the strings off the violin, the bridge would simply fall over. So we've got to hold it in place with a certain amount of tension. Okay, now the next thing is that we need to know how to get the violin into tune. And I'm going to suggest uh, using an app on your mobile phone. Uh, there are lots of them available, free to download, uh, but the one that I use, which you might like to try out, uh, is called uh, Universal Tuner or Free Universal Tuner. And I have it on my trusty phone here. So, okay, right now. Um, at the top of the tune, uh, at the top of the app, uh, the, you can put in which instrument you're using, and I've put violin in here, and next to it, I don't know if you can see that at all, next to it there's a number, A440, uh, which is the standard setting for the A string on the violin. And down at the bottom uh, there are four buttons. Uh, One's labelled 1E5, 2A4, 3D4, 4G3. They represent each of the strings. <clears throat> so one on this side is the E string, A string, D string and the G string. And if you tap one of these buttons, it will give you the pitch of the string. And I've just tapped the A string, so I'm going to tap it and hold it. and it will sound a continuous tone. Also, uh, you might be able to see that there's a sort of equivalent of a sound spirit level here uh, with a green um, circle or oval. Uh, and when it's right in the middle, uh, you know that you're absolutely in tune. So I'm just going to stop the sound and go back to the violin. Right, now I'm going to have the violin facing me on my knee and first of all I'm just going to work on the A string. Now if you remember it was the peg on the right hand side and at the top. Every time you tune one of these pegs make sure you've got the right peg. <coughs> That's one of the ways that you might break a string is be tightening one and listening to what it sounds like not realising you're tuning a completely different string and before you know it, ping, the string is gone. So I'm just going to check, I've got, I'm plucking the A string so I can hear what it sounds like and I'm going to just loosen the peg slightly. Now before you tighten a peg, every time it's a good idea just to loosen it a little bit to get it, get it working. <clears throat> so now I'm going to turn it up again. Now what I'm doing as I tighten it is I'm actually pushing 
into the violin like that so that it's, the peg stays firm in the hole. So you, at, at the same time, turn and push into the violin so that the peg remains quite firm in its hole. So, so D tune it's going down, you practice doing this. I'm just plucking the string with my thumb here. <coughs> and turn it up. Okay, now I'm going to switch the tone on, on my tuner, so I can hear what it should sound like. So you can hear my string is very flat. Now I've tightened it, I'm pushing into the violin. And that sounds pretty good to me, nearly there. I'm just going to switch the tone off. And if I pluck it again, oh, the peg has slipped. It's done what I didn't want it to. I didn't push it hard enough in there. Now I'm looking at the tuner and looking for that small uh, green circle. And it's showing me that it's flat. So I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit more. It's nearly there, nearly there. So now what I'm going to do is go down to the fine tuners and I'm just going to tighten that up. And I'm looking at the spirit level, almost there, still tightening it. And it's there, it's spot on. My tuner, this particular one, the universal tuner, when it's in tune, it gives you a nice big green tick on the, on the screen and makes a sound so that you know it's bang in tune. So, <coughs> the principle for each of the strings is exactly the same. Treat one of them at a time. First of all, just slacken it slightly and then turn it up. Get an idea of what the, the tone is that you're aiming for and tune it up, pushing into the violin so that the peg remains uh, firmly in, in its socket without slipping and then when you're nearly there use the fine tuners uh, just to finish it off and that hopefully uh, will get your violin in tune. Uh, that's all. If you've got any questions if you pop a comment below this video I'd be happy to uh, answer them and if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel. That's all. Good luck and happy practice.